Hello and uh, good evening once more and welcome to yet another interesting masterclass which is going to get your creative juices a bit more flowing and which is going to get your creativity a little up and uh, high because this session is all about that. Now there was a time where there were only brick and mortar stores and that was the only way to operate a business and to connect with your clients. But then came a concept called pop-up stores where you would uh, display your stores and your products in a new area in a bit to get in touch with new customers and to tap into a new marketplace. And then came e-commerce with the likes of Amazon and Flipkart and many more, which suddenly took your business and took your once small brick and mortar store global. Suddenly you could connect with buyers all across the world. And in the same league came Etsy, which was specially designed for all the creative people around the globe. So ladies and gentlemen, this masterclass is going to be about online retail, which is a more democratic way of doing business. And on this masterclass, we have with us Mr. Himanshu Vardhan, who is the managing director of Etsy India. Now he has an experience of building and leading businesses in both the US and India. And an inter interesting fact about him is that he has been an entrepreneur based in Mountain View, where he founded a peer-to-peer -peer mentorship and admission consulting platform. And Mountain View happens to be a very nice and a very interesting area because if I'm not wrong, I could be wrong on this one, but we'll have Mr. Himanshu confirm this for us. Mountain View is the place and area where the headquarters of Google, YouTube, and Facebook are based. And it's a beautiful place indeed. So, uh, Himanshu, sir, was I right about that? Uh, is that indeed the place or did I mess that up by any chance? Yeah, it's the headquarters for Google. I think YouTube has a separate headquarters, but in the Silicon Valley area, which is not really in Mountain View, but not, too, not very far away. Right, right. So I was right about that. And uh, coming from such a diverse background and such diverse experience, I think I'll now leave this masterclass up to you. Uh, so the dice is all yours to take it forward. Thanks, Niharika, for that um, uh, very nice and generous introduction. Uh, very excited to be here today, speaking to everybody uh, from Chandigarh and, and, and different parts of India and the world as well. I'm sure the community is very big and uh, uh, sort of very, and it consists of a lot of uh, influential thinkers across the world. Um, and uh, uh, Chandigarh happens to be one of my favorite cities in India. I just love coming there. I just love the vibe, the planned infrastructure. Uh, the people are so nice. Hospitality is just awesome. So hopefully I'll get to be in Chandigarh and uh, meet a lot of you in person when, uh, when things uh, uh, open up a little bit and these events start to happen uh, in person. Um, so uh, without further delay, I'll just start on the topic, uh, which is online retail, a dem democratic way to build a business. Um, so let's kind of dial back and wh what I'll do is, uh, there are going to be, uh, there are going to be um, you know, roughly two parts of the, the, the session. One is going to be about talking about online retail and the opportunity that it creates. And the other one is going to be about introduction of Etsy and what it does um, globally, just to kind of set the context. Um, so broadly, online retail um, or e-commerce, as we understand that, now everybody, almost everybody who's online is engaging in e-commerce in some way or the other. There's definitely be, been a big, uh, a big expansion and growth of e-commerce in India, both in terms of people who are buying the products online, but also in terms of people who are selling products online. What, uh, think about what technology is supposed to do. Technology, when you when you really think about it, it, it is a great leveler because what it does is that um, it it provides equal access either to a seller or to buyer to connect and uh, buy and sell products. That's what it was it was supposed to do. However, in India and maybe in some other parts of the world, e-commerce has also been uh, has also been dominated by very large e-commerce platforms that are selling mass merchandise produce uh, goods at a very low cost that uh, in some ways can uh, uh, can can put smaller sellers uh, at, at huge disadvantage uh, that is when you think about it uh, e-commerce or technology platform enabling e-commerce provide this opportunity for 
a small seller to directly connect with the buyer anywhere in the world. Um, and what some of the larger e-commerce companies uh, probably end up doing is is end up kind of you know dominating them and uh, uh, and and taking away the visibility from a smaller uh, uh, from a smaller seller. Uh, that's where platforms like Etsy really step in in helping to democratize uh, e-commerce selling by providing equal, at least some level of equal access to smaller sellers to sell to buyers uh, directly uh, across the world. Um, earlier, when you were to think about if you were to start a retail business, what did you have to do? Uh, you potentially had to get a physical space. You had to uh, you had to take inventory. You had to create a certain level of operation. At minimum, you were looking at an investment of about two, three, four, ten lakhs, um, and uh, that created uh, uh, that created a lot of barriers to entry because not everybody had that kind of capital to get started. Now, what e-commerce and online retailing and uh, through platform like uh, Etsy has, uh, has has enabled is that. Anybody with just an internet connection and anybody who is making and creating products from their home or small studio can get online uh, without much investment. Uh, they don't need to take large, uh, large inventory. A lot of products are made to order or customized on Etsy. Uh, and they, didn't, they don't need to make a lot of other investment because they can just click the pictures of their uh, products uh, with their, even from their smartphones list the product online and then uh, uh, reach out to buyers across the world. So it has really, uh, what it has done it, is it has taken the cost of starting up and starting to sell online uh, your creative uh, uh, products uh, in a, with, with, with just an internet connection uh, and very little investment. So that's what, that's what it has done in terms of democratization. Um, so uh, now I'll talk about how, a platform like Etsy steps in. Um, so what is Etsy? So who, who are we? Etsy is a global marketplace for unique and creative goods. Um, it's a home for universe of special extraordinary items. Uh, the platform empowers sellers to do what they love and help buyers to find uh, uh, what, they, what they love as well. And I'll just play a very short video to, uh, to, to kind of uh, demonstrate what we are, how we are uh, helping people discover India with Etsy. So uh, just I'll just go back to the, the presentation here. Just a second. I'm having this problem to go toggle between. Yeah. 
so uh, so what we are doing in india is really enabling creative communities to get online um we have uh, uh, what we have done is uh, these dots on the map indicate all the places where we have creative etsy sellers selling to buyers across the world um we are going out and seeking and reaching out to different sellers very small creative sellers in india uh to help them to get online and sell to buyers across the world we have over 3 million uh, product listings from india now uh globally we have about 4.4 million active sellers uh about uh, 80 82 million active buyers there are over 85 million items for sale and last year we enabled uh, a business that is gms of gmv of about 10.3 billion dollars um and and uh, there's there's um, there's an etsy seller in nearly every state in the uh, in in india and the numbers are really increasing every day um so you know our sellers uh, are uh, the, it's not just any other e-commerce sellers they are really creative entrepreneurs they are 80 per, 81% of them are women uh, more than 90% of them are uh, sellers who are based out of their homes um and uh, 30% of our sellers um uh, say that their the creative business that is selling on etsy is their sole occupation uh for the rest they have this creative business as a form of supplemental income um of, uh, often supplementing other forms of employment uh i i have this example which is very close to home in chandigarh and she's one of uh, my favorite sellers uh, uh, the shop name is called dimpy creations uh it's run by uh, uh it's run by mother daughter combo so uh, uh punam is is an engineer and she helps she helps her, her mother to get online on etsy and she also helps her manage the shop and fulfill the or, uh, the orders now the do is source of pride uh, for the community in chandigarh and people give her example as a local successful entrepreneur uh, who has uh, who has created impact uh, across the world um so our our business model is very aligned what um, uh, so what seller does is that they uh, it it creates this really interesting empowerment empowerment loop uh, what seller does is that seller pursues a craft and grows the business and then etsy uh, facilitates the transaction and the outreach to the buyer the buyer finds unique goods that are hard to find elsewhere and then etsy in turn invests in the platform uh, and delivers a global buyer base uh, to to the seller and this loop continues the seller continues to del delight our buyers and we continue to provide the right platform and tools uh, for our sellers and uh to to sell more and for our buyers to discover new sellers and new products um so um in india you know it's it's really interesting because over the last few years we have we have seen this emergence of startup community i mean you know uh, 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 this this specific uh, uh platform and forum is a perfect example where i'm sure everybody who's there right now is interested in startups and entrepreneurship uh but having said that uh, is entrepreneurship only about building big technology companies or uh, raising a lot of money uh, i think the real sense of entrepreneurship is actually about getting started and building and creating something and start to and starting to do that as a business and that's what etsy has been able to mobilize uh, is is a creative community of micro entrepreneurs uh you don't really need to be raising money or building a big technology company to be called an entrepreneur we need to think about that every person who is taking a bit of risk or who is who is starting something of their own is an entrepreneur in their own right even if it's in a very small way to get started and then we have seen a lot of examples and i'll show a couple of uh, case studies where people have really become big while starting out as a micro entrepreneur but then they have created a uh, big brands on etsy and outside of etsy uh, later on as well um so what in india our activities are very aligned to 
a lot of efforts that the government is uh, uh, making and and uh, uh, and and it it really helps to contribute to the economy so what we do is we enable enhancement of ha- household incomes and job creation by providing people an opportunity and access to buyers across the world uh, this is all make in india what we are doing is we are uh, getting creative entrepreneurs to sell their products that are made in india to sell to buyers outside of india so this is really promoting exports uh, and and exports of make in india products uh, we are creating an opportunity for women micro entrepreneurs uh, we are supporting digital uh, uh, literacy for micro entrepreneurs uh, as well so again driving digital india uh, 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 motive one of our one of our actually one of our big or one of my favorite projects is enabling traditional artisans to get online not just urban artisans but artisans who have been practicing art forms and crafts forms from uh, craft forms for years and years so we are helping and conducting a lot of digital enablement workshops to help them to get online um and uh, so this is one of my favorite examples somebody who started out as a micro entrepreneur uh, but then has actually built a pretty big business uh, ruchi pugilia she's based out of she runs a shop on etsy called coffee mommy um she started out her etsy shop few years back out of her home in lucknow um she's an nid graduate who who worked as a, a film assistant in mumbai and was uh, was bored of the night 9 to 5 monotony of the job she decided to some, do something of her own and uh, move back to her hometown in lucknow and start an etsy shop um she's had more than 20000 sales customized maternity wear gowns on etsy Uh, which is a pretty big uh, uh, number when you consider that the average price points could be anywhere between 80 to 100 dollars uh, even her husband has actually quit uh, his job and supports her in in growing the business um what has, how has uh, you know she benefited um and w- what are the ways that uh, etsy has helped to democratize the e-commerce um so uh, you know uh, one is that even as pandemic happened last year um it has also removed a lot of psychological barriers for people to get online in fact uh, uh, 65% of the sellers on etsy started their shop to uh, uh, as as a way to in, uh, uh, supplement their income um and when you consider that the penetration uh, income penetration and internet penetration is increasing at around 45 450 million active users and there is an expansion of digital economy uh, it has allowed a lot of sellers like ruchi to come online and start their online journey uh, of selling uh, of selling and what you would see is that over the next 3 4 5 years there's going to be an explosion of a large number of these micro entrepreneurs who have started small uh, this year or last year who are going to grow big in terms of creating their own brands and uh, and and also uh supplementing and uh, uh supplementing their income or or creating a, a big sort of monetary impact for them and their families um so i'm going to play uh, ruchi's story here um it's a it's a very nice video that i really like uh, and this will uh, give a sense of how she's been able to build a very interesting uh, business from her home in lucknow motherhood is challenging it's messy it's sleepless it's crazy but it's unbelievably beautiful i'm a mother myself and i feel that mothers need to and should look pretty even with our feet up hi i'm ruchi and my lovely little shop on etsy is called comfy mommy I'm a graduate from NIT Ahmedabad and I've studied filmmaking. I work on as assistant director in a few films. I used to enjoy it a lot, but then I after a point I started to feel that it was taking a toll on me. Also I wanted to do something that would give me the feeling of making. It was around then that one of my friends introduced me to Etsy and said that if you're making this is a great platform to be on. So one day just like that I started my Etsy shop.
the vision was not clear in the beginning but fortunately for me one thing led to another and it just paved its way for itself of course there's hard work but then you know i found my niche i found the maternity clothing to be where my heart was i have this deep love for fabric most of my fabric is hand screen printed but now we've started to sketch and draw and get that digitally printed as well the response was amazing and there's really been no looking back i started alone and now i have this amazing team that is more than my support team my husband ayush has been a constant support he's also a graduate from nid now we are in it together every day we work on trying to get something new something that speaks with the new mommies to be most of my customers are from the us and europe but we also have orders coming from australia switzerland canada the best part for me it's the converse sometimes even late at night because it's what gives us the feedback to improvise and improve upon the shop every day and the etsy interface is very easy to work with and a big plus is their security team you can write to them and they'll always respond quickly i feel safe i don't even think of this as work it's just my passion even if i were to go out on dinner this is what we're talking about and i wouldn't have it any other way um so just imagine uh just imagine if there were hundreds and thousands of stories like ruchi over the next few years coming out of india that's really the power of internet and that's what it was supposed to be it was not uh, e-commerce was prop, was not supposed to be just about uh you know big e-commerce firms selling um selling products that are very mass produced at very low costing or few resellers selling products of lower quality at at deep discounts it was about people like ruchi uh, who could start their small business and reach out to buyers across the world and create their own niche or create their own leadership position in a certain category um another of my uh, uh another of my favorite seller is uh, actually shirali she's based out of ahmedabad and again like her shop is really beautiful as well so i'm going to play this one last sto- uh, la- last story before uh, ending this uh, presentation hi i'm shirali i am a biochemist by qualification and uh, i have worked in uh, retail sector for a decade now i'm a professional uh, full time miniaturist well it started when i was uh, at my uh, corporate job and just to identify my pen drive i decided to cover it with uh, a miniature shoe uh, which was made out of clay it was such a big hit that uh, everyone loved it it became a conversation starter and then i had an idea why not make miniatures in form of uh, product and that's how small idea started i make all miniatures which look very realistic in terms of scale texture color and it has a utility purpose to it so it's not just a collector item you can use it in your day to day life miniature art is a very very ancient form of art the process starts with scaling everything that you see in real life gets truncated to one sixth scale after that uh, the clay is conditioned it's chopped and rolled into sheets and then uh, starts the sculpting process where i texture it uh, i add uh, uh, colors to it and i use a special uh, pigmented pastels uh, once uh, the entire piece is assembled it goes into firing the firing process is uh, 150 degrees centigrade for about 40 minutes today you know the technology is changing so much and uh, people are uh, really looking for uh, options to buy and uh, through etsy shop i could sell to many international customers so i think this is the best plan wasn't that inspiring i i get inspired with these stories uh, every day every single day 
Um, before the pandemic happened, I used to meet a lot of uh, these sellers uh, in person. And uh, now since we have gone online, I have also uh, met a lot of uh, sellers uh, virtually and look forward to continue interacting with the sellers. So that's end of the presentation. I see one of the questions from uh, uh, Tanya Sahai. So uh, I'll just read the question and, and, and answer that. How do you vet the suppliers or can anyone join the platform? Is there a minimum requirement to sell on the platform like once a month? Uh, at this point of time, uh, you know, uh, what we do is that it's it, it, setting up a shop on Etsy at this point of time is as simple as setting up a, a, you know, a social media profile. It's just that there are a couple of more steps involved in terms of setting up the payment so that how you get paid through, through PayPal um, and listing your products. So there are just a couple of other steps. Otherwise, it is as simple as setting up social media profile and then you can you go online uh, uh, very quickly. Uh, we do have a very good backend technology system that uh, that does some automated vetting, uh, which is a preliminary automated vetting, which looks for uh, certain kind of behaviors among the sellers, which might give us indication whether the seller is genuine creative entrepreneur or not. Uh, then there's also a, a team of uh, humans that is centralized based in New York that uh, manually also vet some of these shops based on red flags by the system. And then they try to vet the shops and, and remove the shops that do not meet our criteria. And, uh, you know, even, even then a few shops uh, go through the crack and go live on Etsy. We, uh, we the, the whole marketplace feedback mechanism of customers providing reviews uh, and and transactions happening give us a very good feedback and gives feedback to other buyers of uh, whether the buy uh, whether the seller is a genuine seller or whether the seller is a, is a responsive seller or not. Uh, is there a minimum requirement to sell on the platform? Like once a one, there is no minimum require requirement. You can get started. You can get a sense of um, uh, of whether. Uh, you know, whether your product is selling or not, you can get feedback from the buyers in terms of people liking the product or favoriting the product or reaching out to you through the messaging platform. Um, so there, there isn't really a minimum. It is about uh, getting started uh, with uh, as many number of products as you are ready with. Uh, I see another question pop in from Deepak Kumar, which is in your opinion, what do you think makes Etsy special in e-commerce space? Um, yeah, that's a that's an excellent question because I think about it all the all the time and and there is this real clear realization that is that we are so focused on providing experience to very small sellers who are creative entrepreneurs. These are uh, these are not uh, these are not big sellers resellers who are selling. They are they are really eighty one percent of them are women. More than ninety percent of them are home based sellers and. It is, it is just incredible of what people, creative people sitting out of their homes who have not uh, done it as a business can create and create very, very unique and customized products that uh, is very difficult for a big manufacturer to, to replicate. And I think that's what makes Etsy special. The fact that a large number of products on Etsy can be customized, uh, the fact that there's personal touch to a large number of products that are sold on Etsy. So as an example, when I when my daughter was born, I got something from a French seller uh, and it was a beautiful, beautiful uh, handwritten note from a note from a French uh, uh, a woman seller with writing and the packaging was just incredible. It was not it was not a branded packaging, but it, there were a lot of interesting personal touches. Um, there was uh, uh, there was my daughter's name knitted on the toy. Uh, I mean, that is the kind of special experience that I don't think a mass merchandise platform, e-commerce platform can replicate. I see one last question and I guess we just have one minute. So I'll just quickly take that. What are Etsy's plan for, plans for future uh, for India? Um, India is an incredible uh, uh, place with decades, centuries of actually uh, history of artisanship and craftsmanship. So I think we've just tried to scratch the surface in, in terms of reaching out to creative entrepreneurs and creative uh, 
uh, our artisans uh, to get them online to sell to buyers outside of India. We are also actively considering and thinking about if there are opportunities to you know uh, start the domestic marketplace as well. That's that's. Uh, in consideration, we'll, we'll come more with it. But at, at this point of time, we are focusing on reaching out to the last creative seller, whether they are in urban areas, semi-urban areas, or rural areas to get online and start selling to buyers, not just in India, but across the world. Uh, with that, uh, uh, I, I realize that we are at time at, at seven. So I'm going to end this uh, uh, presentation. Thanks, thanks a lot for joining and thanks a lot for having me here. Uh, I really enjoyed speaking to everybody and I, I hope that I'm able to meet in person a lot of you uh, once things start to open up and, and the in-person uh, 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 gatherings start again. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, yeah. So this was such an engaging session that um, I really enjoyed it a lot. Very insightful, very engaging. Uh, for all the attendees, uh, I would like to request you to exit this room. And we are beginning the next session at sharp 7 with uh, Dr. Wayne Broadband. So uh, with your permission, sir, let's call it a night. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.